All right, so last time I got nine omens, one courier, and one arbitrator. And then when I slowly warp my guys in afterwards, uh, in total after that, I got an auger and another courier. That was it. So I'm gonna hold off. Usually it's eight between eight and 11 ships that you get initially. <laughs> if it usually takes this oh no it was a slow spawn for that one so what eight one two three four five six seven eight nine so eight omens one auger so we'll warp in somebody else Let's see what they trigger be my up f3 f4 my down f5 f6 don't see anything spawning gonna hold a bit more That's their anchor, literally. All right. Weird. Yeah, sometimes you just won't get a reinforcement spawn. Uh, usually, I'm assuming it's because you're flying in the same ship, right? It's just a hypothesis right now it's not a proven theory but yeah don't 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 try nesters that's uh, yeah don't just don't ever oh i've we've got intel videos of people using nesters but they're crazy so we got four more ships All right. so i guess between zero and four that's what i'm used to right uh, for the shacks It all depends on the hull DPS the default hull DPS CCP is wisely decided and of course they forgot about the They forgot about the increased DPS on on the trig trig ships, so they always spawn less than normal, right? That's why I fly with in with trigs and I go with battleships because sometimes you want to party with more people and have fun and these guys are meant to soak up way more damage than usual. And so I'll be able to have lots of ships on grid and have everybody, all the rats, mostly focus firing on my RR battleships. And it works. It's fun. It, it allows noobs to enjoy the, or new pe people to fobs to enjoy uh, without, you know, too much hassle on my part carrying the load, right? So, yeah, that's why I do it. Otherwise, Drekovax, right? Why wouldn't you? Alrighty. 
Redick is my up. And down. Yeah, when you've got, uh, when you're multi-boxing and trying to do logic, the logic chains can get a really discombobulated because it's not a simple uh, alphabetical, especially when you're wrapping around from Z to A. Maybe if I was better at juggling than building sandcastles and watching them get destroyed, uh, maybe my temperament would be better suited to uh, figuring up up and down all the time. But it's, I'm just even today, I just need color codes to help me because otherwise I'm just lost. Ah, who knows? Do look, a store showed up. Yawn. Typical two inquisitors, bunch of. Uh, Punishers uh, and some tackle. That's it. Completely f ignorable. The omens push out so much DPS. Your main consideration are omens. Yeah, two uh, two apox are worth three omens in DPS, and you've seen how little uh, battleships they spawn. So it's like lol. My guys are at least fifteen hundred uh, kilometers from the uh, FOB, which means I'm outside these guys, the Defense Fleet's uh, aggro range. I'm not outside the Response Fleet, the the, the Haulers uh, trigger radius. They will go for me um, eventually. They'll aggro. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> they slow burn. They don't starburst. Well, uh, that's not true. Uh, the Inquisitor's Starburst, for some stupid reason, but everybody else slow burns, even the battleships. Um, whereas the Defense Fleet, they will Starburst. So, pro tip, don't warp to your ping once you've killed the FOB with your battleships, or else, yeah, they'll actually Starburst past 1,500 kilometers. That's the working theory so far. Yeah, spawn range for these suckers is 376 kilometers. So you get within that range, uh, either warping or traveling, you will spawn uh, another reinforcement wave for the defense fleet. That's all you get for the response fleet. You won't get any more. Um, the neutralizing range is 276, 267? I think it's 267. Yeah, 267 for needing range. Uh, the webbing and sensor damper are a bit less. Uh, it takes 10 minutes for a pod, a capsule, to drain the FOB's capacitor to zero. 10 minutes, exactly. And uh, pods won't get a spawn, uh, neither defense or response fleet spawn, but they will get aggroed on by diamond rats. So. Yeah, make sure you warp off your pod after it. Or if you get destroyed, warp your pod off because it will get destroyed. Um, yeah, right now the hauler and miners are hiding at a safe spot. And I used to, oh, have some fun, pop out the probes, go search for it, you know be fun. What do we got here? Uh, let's go 16. It's usually the highest NPC. That's got to be the hauler. I think the impel is a bit different. Oops. Damn it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get an Orca skin from it. Uh, Blood Raiders. They're, they look really cool, actually. So, eh, it's kind of fun. But otherwise, completely pointless. You rarely get uh, uh, 
interesting uh, loot other than the loot, um, uh, the occasional uh, skin box. And once the response fleet is distracted, they won't co they won't come rescue the uh, the bestower or the miners, and the they'll just sit there, doggo, doggo, and like uh, dodos even blow them up. Yeah, I usually go in, dump my MTU, send a combat ship in, and blap the hauler, but the other stuff, yeah, you might get an expensive module, but that's yeah, all, all RNG. Yeah, every fob is different. Every single fob is different. It's never completely boring. Because something interesting might happen. Hell, even I've had a bumper, a neutral bumper, come in and try bumping me. And, you know, I've had other people warp in on you. And you're warping in on somebody else. And, yeah, it's interesting. Joel and I'll probably go with Fury. Pew pew. Once this gets destroyed, the hauler and the response fleets just despawn. They don't even warp off. They just go poof. If you got multiple fobs in a system, things get weird. But mostly you can count on the response fleet popping off. Yeah, even if you got it pointed, it'll despawn. Do, do, do. And yeah, if you're distracting the the response fleet of an asteroid belt, uh, ganking the haulers and stuff, make sure you get back before the fob blows up. Or you're missing out most of the payout. Yeah, <laughs> lol. So, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you'll get the uh, the skin the skin box, but otherwise, nope. I find the uh, as you can see I've got 50-50 for EM and thermal uh, do note that reactive armor hardeners not only focus on what's damage being done uh, but they'll also focus on your weakness so the reason it's so high for thermal is because I'm more weak to thermal than EM but it kind of as you can see I've pretty much, pretty much got it covered for my resist holes, right? Got two EM, uh, three EM, two thermal. Do, do, do.
So what I do is I usually uh, do my scouting beforehand, have a whole bunch of waypoints, and then if somebody else is stealing, uh, somebody else is poached or gotten there first, I just leave them alone and head to the next waypoint. Hopefully they, have, they haven't been, you know, meeting me in the middle. So hopefully I can find uh, one of the, one or more of the fobs I've scouted in my waypoint list uh, that I don't have to start scouting again. I can just go, okay, that's gone, so I just move on. That's how I do it. And fair is fair, right? There's, It's ridiculously overpowered, the payout. And the griefers, the, the in, it's kind of funny because the ones with the maximum amount of, of alts on grid, the multi-boxer, you know it. Uh, they're most likely to be rude, insulting, um, the, the whole nine yards. Um, for me, it's like, meh, alright, I got here first, I'm out, you know? Uh, but then they'll, they'll try to overpower your, your tank with a huge swarm, and then wait till you go, and take it, right? Or just be dicks, you know? Usual. Oh, speaking of, did I swear during that? I think I did. Do, do, do. I don't really need to be here. Uh, I don't even need to take care of the curs. All I do is... I, I could if I wanted to, but I got other stuff to do. You see I've minimized this. I don't need these, so I've got hotkeys for them. Why would I need tho those? It's pretty silly. They should have actually uh, switched these two. The positions, because most fleet noobs will just miss this entirely and get confused by these. If you have them there, it's easier to see. It's less confusing, less clutter. Uh, fleet interfaces are intimidating for the, the noob, and you want to encourage them to use the damn thing. It, it, instead of expecting everything to be put into fleet chat, so. Oh yeah, maybe I want to like, you know, freaking align. This guy's not being pointed, so I'll get away with it. But the other two. We all happy? We all happy. All right, let's go. We gotta wait till this disappears. It's gone, okay. That's gone, good. And that should be gone as well, okay. All right, and we're out. Yeah, sometimes it takes a, a second or two for that icon to disappear but if you cl click warp and even though you're 100 kilometers away it'll still stop you from warping so that's the other important part yeah it's your get out of jail free card it's awesome should i send see i'll try to get as close as possible uh, to Amar to drop off my stuff. It's not that far, actually, so I could probably get away with it. And these guys might be going through. No, we'll be past close to Amar. But yeah, the nice thing about having a a sphere of a theater of operations that's only 12 jumps from your starting point, 
and you never go beyond that, it means that you're always going to be close to what you need, right? So it's pretty cool. Yeah, you're never straying too far away. So that would be silly. You might as well go be a wormhole or a null sucker. But I have to admit, massively lucrative. I'm making a quarter of a billion per fob, and I've done what one, two, done two already, half a billion. I'm aiming for two billion so I can subsidize uh, Udema Scout for sponsoring one of the gates. Uh, it says on his Twitch website 1.5 billion, but yeah, <laughs> price has gone up. So, uh, it, so I think it's only fair that I adjust for that instead of, you know, be a... Be a <clears throat> Racial slur about it. All right. Always reload, cult. Alrighty. Yeah, I've showed you guys enough times how to get a bookmark on the fob. Get in your pod, warp to it, and hit your bookmark. I usually like I usually have it flash a cursor there, hover the cursor and hold my finger over the enter button, and then wait till it gets within when I think it's within just under ten K kilometers. And I'll hit both the enter key and my cursor left button. I mean, my mouse left button. Click. Oh my god. Words. Yeah. I uh, think that's... Oh, right. And the detection range of fobs actually grows every, I think, 6 or 12... I think it's 12 hours. Every 12 hours. Um, I remember it could be 6. Every 12 hours, it, um, you'll be able to detect the fob one light year more. So... In the beginning, so in the beginning, they don't even have a miner out and, and a hauler uh, for the first 12 or 6 hours. Um, after the first 12 hours, you can detect it from one jump, 24 hours, two jumps, and so on until maximum, of course, it's five jumps away. I used to think, because when you first start out, you think, is it light years? Because it's like one system you can detect it from one jump away and now there is like five jumps away it's like is it light years no it's just it's just jumps uh, and the anchor i talked about for the the diamond rat uh if i did uh the the anchor for the diamond rat if you web it all the other omens will orbit around it it's really funny it's uh quite helpful too because it slows them down even more Right? You web the anchor and then you web another, the target, and yeah, doubly slowed down. I tend to use Vespa 2s. I lost them. Whoops. On the, uh, on the crewers because they're vulnerable to explosive and kinetic, and Vespas have the best optimal range. That means even though that damn thing's whip, the crewers whipping around your battleships, you can still hit them pretty good. Uh, because. If you use light drones, they tend to go wander off because those crews are so fast it won't be within optimal range for a long time. And your little drones will go, oh, I think I'll go attack the fob or something stupid like that. So I find Vespas are great. They won't ignore commands. All right. 
sure about that more. Always, 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 always work to your safe spot and away to your undock. Just out of habit. Get sloppy, all of a sudden you're war decked. Modules. If you're lucky, you'll get the those suckers. The uh, the heavy nates are pretty cool. I just I kind of wish I'd made my trader hauler the the scrap metal processing. But as it is, it's my eldest character who, of course, has all the character stuff. And dock. a pretty penny uh it's nothing compared to the income you get from the reward but the less players the less teammates you have on grid the more the loot's going to be worth it right even though it'll take you longer I missed Sticky for a fob for a second. Mm. Right. And do it for three hours because your wreck's only going to last two hours. One million, four hundred thousand, one hundred thousand, half thousand, right there. I'm guessing 7,500 for range. Eh, at least it's as long as it's 1,500 away. Do not know where my wife put the charger for the laptop. Okay, minus three, 30 million. I wish I could disable the history, but you can't, you can't right click it at all. It's like, we're gonna let you know. Because, you know, we want you to remind you you paid for something and you should do it again. <laughs> It's like how trans how fundamentally cr 
corrupt that is. I think, oh, well, you know, the others you got an option, but let's take away the option for here because we really want to ram home the point that you bought something and we want to remind you, you might want to buy it again and we don't want you to get rid of that reminder because, you know, that would be, you know, not cost efficient for us. And it's like, you know how transparently greedy and venal, 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 venal you look. Oh, it's hilarious. I think it's you. All right. La, 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 la. I'll sometimes do arrow formation. It's pretty good for when you're warping on the fob and nothing's bumping as you try to warp to the pirate stronghold. Do, do, do. So your biggest concern is going to be neutralizing for blood raiders. I've got three large batteries, doesn't matter the size, each small, medium, large, each give the same percentage to uh, lowering the, the cap penalty of uh, warfare. And I've got talisman implants, which speeds up the remote uh, um, bleh, uh, energy emissions uh, modules. Uh, their duration speeds up. More bang for your buck, really. Yeah, your biggest worry is going to be energy warfare. Don't ignore it at your peril. Alright, I think we're all good. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, wait. That wall. Alright, usually... Um, what I've done is uh, I've switched the shortcut commands, hotkeys, from shift to control for low slot. Because it just makes sense, right? Control is lower than shift. Why the hell you would, uh, would you... Did the Icelanders have their control and shift in the opposite side than the rest of us? I don't know, right? It's pretty stupid. Just a little, little, little thinking. After the decades... Maybe you might want to change it up. Oh, we don't. We don't want to do it now. We might confuse people. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah, it's it's amazing, like how incredibly stubborn and pig-headed, even after two decades, some some particular developers have lasted this long. All right, and you got to figure, is that the culture that Hilmar wants? Oh, yes. Yeah, we know all about their sweaty meetings. Ye who yells the loudest gets the coding time. All right, so we'll wait till the spawn happens. Between 8 and 11 ships. Oh, there we go. Okay. If it takes a while for spawning... It's usually battleships. And if you're lucky, you'll get a mix. Like, you'll force a mix of DPS types, and that'll really screw up the augers, that's for sure. Now, the first time, my second trig ship did not spawn anything, but my third did. Kind of interesting. Oh, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. got two ships spawning when this happened. Walked in my third and two more ships appeared. go. So, two omens. Two omens, one crew. So that should be a total of 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, dead. Okay, my math sucks. Maybe three omens? So four ships, just like last time? Okay. Alright, that's cool. And then, of course, it takes 15 minutes to kill the fob. The hauler usually shows up in a window of 15 minutes. You usually get the hauler. Sometimes it's fun, if it happens right at the beginning, to go search for the hauler with combat probes, but otherwise, like, meh, right? Oh, dear. My laptop just died. Where is that damn thing? All right. I'm just going to mute the camera, go search for it. Mute the mic. I hate this this uh, blue Yeti microphone's mute key is just horrible. The one thing I don't understand is why does it say 1311 when you open up, and it updates for 
for spooling up, right? Why is it... Oh, it could be drones. I could probably be a complete idiot. And, yeah, it's probably the drones. Ignore me. I'm being silly. Base DPS is what? Give me a sec. Okay, so two point five damage increase. That's what I always thought. Yeah, so the CCP decided that the spawn rate for these kind of ships were... The fuck? Oh, right, I need to... Yeah, I mean, when I'm alone, I never used to color code. I just double click whoever and whatever, and I just lock my guys up because I've got enough remote repair to do two people because of my slots, right? Any more is, well, then you got issues. And what happens is when you got more pilots than that, is that you have to get your up and down correct. Otherwise, somebody will be missing out on capacitor and stuff, and et cetera, et cetera. So I find doing color code, this is um, up, this is down, as in aviation up and down for the horizon meter thing. And of course I do F3 and F4 as my up, and F5 and F6 as my down. I was having, I was splitting, I was doing F3, F4, and then F5, F6 for a while, but I realized it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't as efficient as I thought. It was, and it was taking away more than, there was more, eh, the, the cost benefit wasn't, wasn't the greatest, uh, especially, yeah, especially for a lot of things, really. So I decided just to uh, switch it up. Literally. Mine flood won't work. Mine flood's useless for this situation. Um, it's just that your remote assistance for energy is so huge that eh, mine flood's completely useless. And do you remember, if you don't have any capacitor, you can't use your micro warp drive. I mean, your micro jump drive. Wait. Wait a minute. Why the f Why the F did they call it micro jump drive? Of all the things they could have chosen, why the hell did they use micro? Right? It's like micro warp, micro jump. Why didn't they pick another name? I mean, it's it's not like you're able to micro jump AUs away, right? That's what you conceive of when you think of a micro jump in, you know, in science fiction. Anyway, so I'm done. Why so? See ya.